So we are going to go to the admission service and we are going to create the admissions resources uh, file, which is a class. So I'm going to go to admission service, go to SRC main Java and simply come here and right click and just choose new and choose new class. So now this is a class definition. So I'm going to just add dots because all these packages, I'm, new packages I'm going to be creating will be under the admissions service package. So I'm going to call it uh, resources. I'm going to call it, um, let's call it, I'm going to call it dot resources. All right. So dot resources and the name of this class is going to be admissions resource right let me just check and make sure we are following this step correctly create admissions resource class so admissions resource all right so everything is fine so i'm going to finish mm -hmm. so admissions resource is like the controller file that controls the admission service so we've created the admissions resource Class, so you can see it opens up. The next step is to annotate it with address controller. So I'm going to annotate it with. Meanwhile, let me mark this as done. So I'm done this now. So I'm going to mark it as green. Annotate it with address controller. So simply say address controller. A controller file is a file that handles requests coming from the client. So once you go to the browser and type HTTP. Uh, Blah, uh, colon backslash backslash um, blah 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 dots what you are going to hit is this file so this file is going to recognize what really what resource are you trying to say are you trying to make a post request are you trying to make a get request it's going to now route to the appropriate function inside this controller file so that is why it's called a rest controller because it's handling rest web services requests coming from the client so REST controller, so you can see it gives an error. So put your mouse there and click on import. Another way is to simply on your keyboard, you press Control Shift and press O. So in this case, if you have several uh, uh, errors, so that is have not imported namespace. So simply press Control Shift O, it's going to import all this namespace at once. So the next step is create the method get patients that return a list of patients, right? Create the method get patients that return a list of patients. So I'm going to create this method. So I'm going to say public uh, list of patients get patients. Okay. So it, it should return a list of patients. All right, so the next thing we are going to do, we are going to solve this error as we move. The next step, I'm going to mark it as green. Create a method get patient by ID that takes an ID and returns a single patient. So I'm going to go here, create another method, public, um, public uh, returns a single patient so it's going to return a single patient get by id and it takes a special a patient id as a string okay. all right so we've created this as well so we are going to solve this error just let's follow the instructions so that we don't miss out anything So it says annotate the ID parameter with at path variable annotation. So this ID parameter, I'm going to annotate it with at path variable annotation, at path variable. And at path variable annotation, you need to specify the name of the path variable is going to be ID, all right? All right, so you can see that we can actually cover these steps in a short time. Create a class called patient in the model in the models package. So 
So I'm going to come to this place. So I'm going to come to create a class called fishing. So just choose create fishing and I'm going to put it in the models package. So instead of resources, I'm going to choose models. Okay. So I'm going to say okay. So now this is a class called patient. So this class represents uh, holds uh, patient data. So patient name, patient uh, treatment, the, uh, the, 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 the personal data of the patient. So we will need something like um, string, private string ID to hold the patient ID, private string. Uh, let's think of name <coughs> and private string let's say nationality <coughs> so we have three let's keep it simple let's keep it three if you want to add more no problem so this is how the patient class is going to look like so what i'm going to do now is to add a constructor to add a constructor i'll simply right click and go to source and choose um generate constructor using fields as you can see here so i'm going to select everything and i'm going to say generate okay fine i like to remove this super because it makes it a bit confusing the next thing i'm going to generate is the getters and the setters so to do that please let me shift this thing backward a bit so right click here and just choose uh I'm going to choose generate getters and setters, source, generate getters and setters, select all and say generate. So it generates getters and setters. And the next thing we want to do is to create a default constructor that takes no parameter at all. So you simply say public. A default constructor is, it simply takes the name of the class. You can actually generate it, but I think it's better we just type it out. All right, so we've created the patient class. So I'm going to just save everything right now. So I'm going to go back here. So you can see that the error from patients is disappeared. As I told you, to import, add all the imports for the annotations, so simply press on your keyboard Control, Shift, and O. So let me do it Control, Shift, and O. It's going to, okay, just say finish. So you're going to add the needed imports. All right, so we have error bit here because we've not added a return statement here. All right, so the next thing that we are going to do, we've done this one, so I'm going to mark it as green. The next thing we are going to do is to add some hard-coded patients to the get patients method. All right, so so we have get patients here, so we need to add some hard-coded patients in this place. So I'm going to simply say list of patients. So I'm going to hard-code some patients. I'm going to call them patients is equal to arrays dot as lists. As lists. All right, so now I'm trying to now add some hard-coded list of patients right okay so let me remove this add zero so i'm going to simply say new patients and i'm going to give some id let's say p1 and i'm going to give a name let's say gabo and nationality is hungarian because I'm right now in Hungary, in Budapest, I'm writing, I'm making this class from Budapest. And I'm creating a second patient, uh, the second one, and it's going to be P2, and the name is going to be Emeka, and Emeka is going to be a Nigerian. All right, so how about if I just create one more new? Uh, let me just uh, use P3 and P3 is going to be a lady this time and Emily, Emily is an American <laughs> so American alright 
So we added uh, hard coded list of three patients, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to close this and I'm simply going to return patients A. So list of patients here. So everything is going perfectly well. Um, so let's go to see where we are in the stream of time. We've added some hard coded list of patients. So I'm going to just mark it as green. Do we take a little break? Maybe, yes. So let's take a little break and then we are back. 